guys have Will do it right now because he's here? Can you? Well, he's here for the taste thing. Yeah, but how am I going to do the taste You have to go find someone else. Or we'll have to see. I'm thinking like they're gonna. They're trying to find another person. This is the first they find. Just do yeah. It wasn't really mole like, but Hannah wouldn't give me her person, even though John and I sacrificed our two first people, who we got like instantly, and we were just sitting around. But it's not really, you know, like to suspect her. Yeah, okay. I was just idea. Oh, no, please meet my boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can. Uh, How would you like to come sing Christmas carols? You know, just one? No. One very good Christmas carol? Are you sure? Yeah. Positive? Positive. Alright. Put that on a tree. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. Arthur okay. Crafts is completed. Two more dollars out of the pot on to Sunday. Would you mind to sing around the tree? Oh, where's the beard? I don't know. We didn't see him. We were just running around everywhere. I saw him on first floor, but that was like five minutes ago. Emily, because she's like, I'm like, go get Birdie. She's like, go get Birdie. Birdie. And I'm like, why don't you? Like, why can't you get up? I don't know how many Andy were. He's like, I was on first and I was on third and he wasn't there. You know? And I'm like, go find him yourself. Like, he's your partner. Like, she's like, well, we're going next. And I was like, you know, you can't go without him. Like, why do I have to go find him? And she just called him. Uh, we're doing this Idaho mole thing and I'm looking for someone to come and sing a Christmas carol. Um, I have to find someone to sing a Christmas carol. Would you like to sing a Christmas carol with me? Oh, okay. Well, thanks. You got the move, no. Aladino, please. Jack. Aladino. Well, I've seen that you move that way before, okay. buddy. I'm looking for someone to sing a quick Christmas carol with me. It takes two minutes. It's me and there's one other no. person. Really? No, I'm, I'm not a fan of this mole thing. You're obviously busy. Dude. Never mind. <laughs> Everybody looked at me like I was the crazy psycho stalker boy on campus. They thought I was the new guy trying to get into the bathrooms, and this chick gave me a look like, what are you doing? Why are you talking to me. And then this girl with her mom like practically ran down the hall away from me and on here? People look at me like I'm the the rapist on the door. That's weird. Do you find someone? No! I've asked everyone. English dude, chick with mom, nobody will help me out. Chick with mom. Wait, Alex is working on it. Did Jack do something? Yeah. Yes! Okay. I already asked him, he told me no! <laughs> <laughs> he told me no! <laughs> <laughs> we need to go through the tree! Come here, Gracie, please, please, please! What is this? Okay, make sure Are you know around the Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm gonna do it just... Aladino, please! Alex, you know what I'm saying? Alex, you know what I'm saying? Alex, you know what I'm saying? A lot for Christmas! There's just one thing I need! Sing, Aladino! I want for Christmas! If a prospective employer were to Google my name on YouTube, the fact that they can watch me and Beauty and do foreign exchange kids sing Mariah Carey songs around a Christmas tree is nothing short of terrifying. Is there a way that I could not be flagged in that video as my first request? I'm just keep on waiting underneath a mistletoe. I won't get some of that and send it to you. I'm singing. I'm going to stay awake to hear those magic reindeers click. No time to work in tonight. All the lights will be so tight. Just one more thing.
all good. Um, put that part on. Well, and we had like seven minutes to do it, so they didn't have to do it like really, really fast, but they did it like, <laughs> like ate those candy canes, and it was kind of entertaining because all their teeth were getting stuck together. <laughs> you should do it. Hey, thank you, Will. No thank you, Will. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Will. Yeah, Will. Oh, I know. It just comes so easily to say it now. I know. I just. <laughs> just second nature. So All right then. Thank, Thank you. Yay! Thanks, Bree. Now we're waiting on YouTube. Go enjoy your little play. Reading on what too? Thanks, Bree. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, Bree. Awesome. Um, Congratulations, you guys got ten people to attend your Christmas party and complete these crazy Christmas tasks. Woo! That means the pot is at thirty-six dollars. Congratulations. Yes. Big, Big money. money. And it all ended well. We got all our money. Woohoo! Ended up turning out okay. Um, not my favorite task, but got done. Um, okay, well that, that challenge was a ton of fun, you guys. I mean, that was awesome. I got to set up a Christmas tree. Aw. But, I mean, it didn't really confirm or deny any of my suspicions. Um, I still think Emily is a shifty character. And I also think I also think Beardy is a pretty shifty character. I mean, <laughs> those are the two main suspects in my mind. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think this challenge was very unproductive in determining who the mole was. Yeah. It wasn't really a task that like a mole, the mole could come out in, I guess. And like I was trying to watch everyone, but like I was running around trying to find people for other people. All right. Even though your fantastic Christmas party has ended, we have another little Christmas tradition that we're going to play out here. I'm going to go around. Exactly. You know, you should just play these tasks, Emily. Why don't you pull a name out of here? Don't like, who I'm it not is. giving so you my fucking name. All right, John, open up. Who did you get? Jill. Jill. John, please give your notebook to Jill. Jill, this is now yours. Notebook for the game. You can utilize any information you get out of it. But that is your new notebook. I was terrified at first. Hilarious that I got John's though. Seeing how John's the one person in this game that we are like, uh, I don't necessarily dislike him, but he has a loving hate passion for me. You know? Give your notebook to John. <laughs> to John. Do you have a new notebook? Aaron, open yours. Beardy. Beardy, want you obtain your new notebook? Great. Do you have one? Though? Emily, your no. turn for Secret Santa. Who's yours? I have Jessica, and my apologies because of my notebook. Is. Well, Jessica looks like you lost out on that one. You get no notebook. I, I, who was supposed to give me a notebook was um, Emily, and she didn't have a notebook. She hasn't been using her notebook. She just threw it out, and I'm just like, now I'm notebookless. Beardy. Yes, sir. Who is yours? Kevin. Kevin. All right, Kevin. Congratulations. Right. New notebook. This is head over. But this is mine. But now it is Kevin's. <laughs> Charles. Who did you receive? Uh, Hannah. Hannah, why don't you hand that over? Congrats. Merry Christmas, Hannah, I guess I should say. I, I guess like the Christmas party wasn't so bad. I think it was like giving up our notebooks, you know? Yeah. All my plans for Operation and Operation Storm are now in someone else's hands. And Hannah seems like a quiet gal, so it's not going to go towards anyone that, that would make it kind of incriminating for me. Yeah. So. Jillian. Mm -hmm. I got Charles. 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 Okay. Charles, Charles, we'll hand right over. Okay. Do I give this one or do I give mine? You give your original one. Both. So let you have beforehand. My book stayed in my alliance, which means my ass is safe because there's information in that, and I've been taking amazing notes. So the fact that that didn't go outside any of my alliances was amazing because that would have fallen in the wrong hands. That would have been really, really bad. And so I just left out. Kevin. Aaron. Aaron, Aaron. Merry Christmas. Black and Hannah. Emily, you get a new notebook. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You can take out of this whatever you like in your quest to figure out who is the mole. I got the sweet notebook because I can't have time to write every single thing. So. John, I like your little message you left for me. <laughs> so it's pretty ironically funny that, you know, I got his notebook and on top of that, the nice little comment that he left for me, you know, the bitch. Yeah. Priceless. We'll just go back and leave you a message. And it's so ironic that she happened to give me a message. Because I wrote my notebook right next to Jillian's name. Bitch in big bold letters underline, and guess who got my notebook? Jillian, and she happened to glance through it and uh, comment on my little note, and I was very, very happy that she saw that. <laughs>
Bit next week. My life is still not yet complete because she has not cried yet.